Hi everybody, it's Cindy the Scrapologist. I just tried to do YouTube Live a second ago. If you saw a kooky video, I had to stop it and use a different program because for some reason YouTube had all of my writing backwards. It was like a mirror and I couldn't deal with that. <laughs> and I don't think you would be able to either. It would be very annoying to watch. So um, sorry about that if you were on. I'm going to start again. I'm here to um, do another part of decorate how to make a junk journal from start to finish. And um, as I've said in the other videos, I am using the kit from my shop. I have the link down below. I do have a few left, not many, but a few. And in the kit, there are these awesome craft paper file folders from Canvas Corp. So I think today we're going to decorate these. There, um, I think there are three of them in the kit, and I don't. I have a little bit of an idea what I'm going to do, but not really. I'm kind of doing this on the fly, so bear with me while we'll just create together. Hello, hello, everybody. So if you have the kit, run over if you're following along and pull out your file folders. If you don't have the kit, then um, you can make your own file, file folders. And there are tons of videos out there on how to do that. If you have an envelope punch board, you, you can make one of these really easily. The ones in the kit measure, when folded, four and a quarter by six. So we're going to decorate these today. Hello, everybody. Are you going to be all stealth today, or is anybody going to say hi? <laughs> so the first thing I thought I would do is, oh, so um, in terms of putting these in the junk journal, you can, let me find a page. You can put them onto a page like this, which I'll probably do with one of them. Is my camera crooked? Or is, that, or is my head crooked? <laughs> so you can either put them on a page like this, or you can put them into your junk journal like this and put other pages in. So you kind of need to decide what you want to, how you're going to be, what you want to do with it before you decorate. So for this particular one, I am going to put it in like this, not like this. See, if you're putting it on like this, then you don't really worry about decorating this side. But I'm going to put this one in like this. So what I'm going to do is put tissue paper on the front and back cover. So I have this lovely piece of tissue paper here that I like. And I'm going to Mod Podge that on. Mod Podge that on. It annoys me when people say Mod Podge. <laughs> it's Mod Podge. I think if you're teaching something, you should know how to say it. Now you guys are all going to catch me on things. <laughs> I'm going to say wrong. <laughs> I shouldn't be critical. I should be nice. I need a new paintbrush. This one is, this one is thrashed. So I just now realized that today is Wednesday, all morning. I thought this was Friday. I guess it's been a long week already. My mother informed me that this is Friday. <laughs> so that's actually kind of good because now I have two more days to get everything done that I need to get done this week. But um, I moderate a Facebook page called Paper Craft Fan Club. I hope you go over and, and sign up or join, I mean, because we, um, we share paper crafts of all types, whatever you like to do, cards, um, junk journals, mini albums, mixed media, whatever you like to do, we share everything over there. And on Friday, I do Freebie Friday, and I post a little freebie for everybody. And so I posted it today. I said, Happy Friday, everybody. 
and it's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, okay, so all I did was Mod Podge that down. Where's my brayer? I moved it, and I can't... Oh, here it is. Couldn't remember where I put it. I've rearranged my room just a little bit. Uh oh, popping up a little bit. That's okay. Okay. Now I'm playing it with it too much and it's tearing. But that's okay too. Okay. So I just wanted to do that really quickly and we'll let that dry. Let's set that aside. Okay, so let's grab another one. And for this one, I'm going to decorate the inside, I think. And in your kit, um, you should have some Tim Holtz images. Everybody's images are different. Um, these are the ones that are in my kit. And I think I'm going to use these, kind of put them here, and use some washi tape. So this is Tim Holtz washi tape. And I think I want this one here. I saw somebody on a Tim Holtz website, um, YouTube video do this. So I'm going to try it. I liked the idea. I didn't invent this. I didn't invent anything, actually. We all kind of draw from everybody's ideas, don't we? So I'm going to put the washi tape down the middle. And then around the outside edge. I just realized I don't know where my dog is. I hope she's not in another room getting into trouble. Lily! Hmm. This little dog, I've never had a little dog before. I've always had big dogs. We had German Shepherds until a few years ago. They all died within two weeks of each other. Oh, it was terrible. But, um... Man, little dogs eat everything off the floor. It's like having a little child. I have to watch her every second. I caught her with a screw in her mouth the other day, chewing on it. Lint, everything. She eats everything. <laughs> so it's like having a kid. So I think what I'll do with this is ink it up with my Tim Holtz um, vintage photo. I guess it's go this is going to be a Tim Holtz kind of day, huh? So much of his stuff just looks so great in junk journals. If you like that vintage look. And I'm going to do in here too. Ink it up a little bit. Oh, and let me ink these. And I think this one, I'm going to round the corners just slightly with the quarter inch rounder. Because I'm using this clock face, I just think this will look nice rounded. And of course, ink the edges up. I 
and tape these down. I'm not going to get really fancy today. I'm just doing enough to... Um, the next step that I want to do in this series is to put all the pages together and start and sew them together. So um, at the very end, once the book is all completely done, that's when I'm going to really go through and go wild decorating. And I do have, somewhere in my stash, I have to find it, I do have a clock, I, clock hands. So I'm going to put those on there. And we need a little something up here. But I'll do that once, once the book's all together. I'll decorate that. And let me fold it, increase that fold where the washi tape is. And then on the outside, in the kit you get a variety of scrapbook papers, and um, or you can use papers from your own stash, whatever you'd like. But um, I like this one, and I think I'm going to put this one here for my cover. So for this side, all I have to do is measure. I forget what I said these are. Was it four and a quarter by six? Four and a quarter, well, by six and an eighth. Now, why did they do that? An eighth. <laughs> There's some little nubbin thing thingies. Cut those off. So I'm going to cut four and a quarter this way and six and an eighth this way. I'll do that off camera if you don't mind. I think that'll look nice. And then round the, these two corners. Oops. And ink it up. Let me cover over my Mod Podge here. I forgot to, before I knock it over onto any of my projects, <laughs> that is something I would do. <laughs> I wasn't sure about doing a live video on a Wednesday morning. It's a work day, so wasn't sure how many of you all are retired or stay-at-home moms or how many of you are working. So I thought I'd give it a try. So there, we've got a piece of scrapbook paper on there. This is what the inside looks like. That tape isn't wanting to stick down. And I would like a little something right there. This is my favorite, one of my favorite stamps. It's a um, Prima, I think. Prima stamp. 
it's losing its stickiness. I don't know if it'll stay on here. But, um, I don't know if I want to use brown or black or white. I think I'm going to use my white ink for this. I really like white on, white pigment ink on darker, darker colors. And I can never get this one open. It's very difficult. So the kit, the link is below if you want to buy the kit. There is a ton of stuff in the kit, but you do have to supplement if you want to. You can make a journal just out of what's in the kit, but if you want to kind of decorate it a little bit more, you do have to supplement with some things from your own stash. And I think today is nice because there's the clock over here. And there's one file folder. I'm not going to decorate the back because I think this one I am going to adhere to a page. <clears throat> so I'm going to put that over in my pile of things that we've done already. We've done quite a bit. <clears throat> and then for this one, there's this little piece of trim that's in the kit that is vintage from the 1950s or 1960s. And I think I'm going to put that on the edge. Uh, normally, I would sew it on, but it's okay to just go ahead and use double-sided tape, which I'm going to do for right now. And if it doesn't stick, which I think it will, because I've done this before. If it doesn't stick, I can always go back and sew it before I put it in the journal. Although I wonder if I want to decorate the front of this before I put that trim on there. Hmm. Um... Nah. Wait a minute, I lost my camera. There we go. <coughs> Love this trim really fun and I put it so that when you open it these little little fun things are sticking out I think what I would like to do is put have another page you know you can make you can cut down let me find some you can cut down coffee stained paper or scrapbook paper and sew them in here and make a little mini junk journal inside your junk journal. That's a that's a nice idea too. I'm not going to do that because that would take too much time, and there are lots of videos showing how to do that. But just to give you an idea, but I think I would like to have either a tag or something that flips in here. And I have my piece of scrapbook paper that I cut. A minute ago. But I don't really like that red. Let me see what else I have in my stash. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's my water? do I'm going to take one of the tags that we made in another in another class 
and I'm going to put it inside here. If I can find them. Here they are. Okay. So we made a bunch of tags in, in one of the other classes. And some sewed some pages. But I think I'm going to take let's see what size that is. No, I don't think I like it sticking at the end. Oops, this one's too big. Here's one. Here's a smaller one that we made. This is really cute. Cut these off. I think I'll put that one in there. So there are several ways to do this. You can just take some washi tape and put it down over it. And that will enable you to be able to flip it. But I want it to be a little more fancy than that. So I'm going to make a hinge. And I need to get a piece of cardstock Oh, there's a piece. And I'm going to cut this down to the width of my tag. This is two and a half and two and a half by one inch. and then score it down the middle or just fold it in half. I do like to use my scoreboard. But you can just fold it in half if you don't have one. And actually, I'm going to cut it just a little less than the width of this. Just so nothing's sticking out. And apply my double-sided tape. my little hinge on the back, like so. And then stick this down. So once we get to really decorating, I will probably decorate the back of this tag now. Now that I know what I'm doing with it. So that's kind of fun. And I would like to put a little angled pocket on the inside too. Let's do that. Okay, so for that Let me 
trying to decide if this is, I think this is thick enough. This scrap of paper that I put in the kit is, the cardstock is nice and thick, so I think it's thick enough that we can make the pocket without having to back it with anything. So I'm going to give that a try. So we are going to, this is four and a quarter. So I'm going to do it at five and a quarter wide because we need room for the hinge. Five and a quarter, and then I'm just going to cut it from corner to corner. Okay. We have another piece that we can use for later. And then we need to score down this side and down this side at a half of an inch. Whoops. I lost my camera view again. Come back here. There we go. Sorry. So I scored down half an inch here. I'm going to flip it and score half an inch there. And then if you make mini albums, you know that any time you make a pocket like this, where, let's see if I can get it to show up, there's a little, little box here. So that's where you always miter your corners. So I'm going to cut there. And there. Okay. Let me just make sure I measured correctly. Oh, my little point sticking out there. Well, let me cut that off. Apply our tape. Ink it up. Let me fold it over. And I'm going to ink it up again. And then you have these little doohickeys here that you have to cut off. So, so this is what we have. Okay, and then you fold it over and cut these ends off. And then we'll put our little pocket right there. Actually, you know, first I think I want to cover this with scrap of paper. So we've got this paper that that I used on the cover of the other one, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put this down, and then put then put my pocket on. So it was four and a quarter by six. to fit and round to the two corners that are closest to the left edge here. Let's ink it up. with my <laughs> folder for a second. It has been so humid here in Maine. Just absolutely unbearable. 
we usually get a little bit of humidity, but we've had 90 degrees and 90% humidity where you can actually, it looks like fog in the air. That's how humid it is. I used to live down south and um, I was used to it, but now that I've been up in Maine, I just am not used to the humidity where we don't normally don't get it like this. So I just feel like I'm always melting and it makes me cranky. Does being overheated make you cranky? It does me. I try not to, but... <laughs> Makes me want to go swimming. That's probably what I'll do this afternoon. Go to the lake. Okay, there we go. That's the beauty of Maine. Land of a thousand lakes. We've got lakes and rivers and streams. I have a brook right in my backyard. And just tons of water all around us. Put that down. Good. I'm happy with that so far. And we'll probably decorate this side with some scrapbook paper too. Why not? Or, let me see what else we've got in this kit here. kind of like that. There's some stamp paper in here, and I think I'm going to use this. Oh, well, there's also just too many goodies. Ooh, I like that. Actually, that's what I'm going to use. Isn't that pretty? This is a handmade, um, I think you call this linen paper but it has actual leaf imprints on it. It's kind of like what people do with boiled paper, but I didn't boil it because I don't have, um, I don't really have the kitchen for that right now. But I'm gonna cut that down and put that here and I think that'll look really nice. Yeah, let's do it. And I think this time I will not round my corners. I'll just leave this rectangular. But of course I'm going to ink. You know me, Tim Holtz, vintage photo on everything. Let me put my goodies away. I'm gonna have to use this at some point. Our, our children's book page. So many fun things. I can't wait till we get to decorating. That's the fun part for me. It's all fun, but that's the most fun. to do something with the front, which for now, let's just do another piece of scrapbook paper. This is a nice one. It's got a little bit of green in it, which will match this. So I think I'll do that. So I'm going to cut this down to four by six and an eighth. Mm, 
a little too wide. Let me take about an eighth of an inch off because of that trim there. Tuck it under. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let me ink it up. It's got a little fold up here, but that's okay because we can put something we can put something up, up here when we decorate. I was really on the fence about whether or not I should fold the scrapbook paper um, in the kit or not. I know I've mentioned this before. Um, but it drives the cost of the shipping up so much to ship 12 by 12. And so I cut these down to 8.5 by 11 and folded them all in half for you. So they're actually ready to just stick right in the journal because this is the size of the journal we're making. So that was my thinking on that. You'll have to tell me what you think. If you would prefer just to have to not have to deal with these folds if you decide to use the paper or or what but you know shipping is getting so expensive that I try to keep the cost down as much as I can for you all as a matter of fact I think I got the shipping down to like four dollars on this kit I don't know I'll have to look in my shop but it's very 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 reasonable course you're going to have different scrapbook paper in your kit or if you're if you, if you don't have my kit you're going to um, use your own paper and trim but you can match it up okay I'm happy with this I'm going to definitely put some more stuff up here probably Either a doily, we could do, let's see, oh, you know what I'm going to do? the rub-ons. I haven't finished the cover yet. We still have to do that. I always do my covers last, but this rub-on paper um, we did on the canvas. There's a ton of it left over in your kit, so let's use some. This is so big that it doesn't even fit on the camera. But I think I want, I think I want a sentiment up here. This says memoranda. Let's see if there's something. Let's see. I like this. Love your art first. Others will follow. That's so nice. Hmm. How about just A, B, C, D? Because everything else is kind of craft related and this is not a, I'm not making a craft, crafty journal. So I'm just going to do this A, B, C, D here and see how that goes. Where's my popsicle stick? thing I really like about these rub-ons is that you can definitely tell when it is off of the rub-on paper and on to your project. Some rub-ons you can't tell and then you go to lift it up to see and it's not <laughs> and then you've ruined it. 
And this, it's just so very clear. Even when I was doing it on the canvas, I could tell that it was off the transfer paper and onto my project. So there, A, B, C, D. Okay, and how about... And here's a fancy A and B that I'm just going to put randomly on there. I'm going to leave that as it is for now. I might go, go and decorate some more once we get it in the journal. See if I can fold this thing back up. It's like trying to fold a map. Hey, did it. Yay! Okay. So I'm not going to decorate the back just yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. But I like the way this turned out. Where's my other one? Okay, and we've got this one. And let me see if this Mod Podge one is dry. Kind of, sort of. It's kind of dry. still pretty wet, but I think it's dry enough to go ahead and trim. <coughs> Let me switch mats here, get my cutting mat. Still pretty wet. Pretty damp. I don't know if I dare. Let's give it a try. Let's see if my exacto knife works or if I need to use scissors. Scissors, but I'll use these ones because I don't I don't want to use my good sewing scissors and get glue all over. I could I could have folded it over I suppose, and to have nice clean edges. I'm just gonna do this messy right now and then I'll go and clean it up. Probably, I thought of doing this beforehand so that it would be ready to decorate, but then you wouldn't get to see the process. But if I had done it beforehand, it would have been nice and dry. It's still a little too wet to do this neatly, so I'm going to just lop this part off, and I'll fix it later. But <coughs> this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look nice. It's still a little dark because it's, because it's wet, but that's just a 
the tissue Mod Podged on, and we'll decorate this as well. I don't know what I'll put on there yet, but we'll decorate this up in, in another class. Okay, so we made three. We decorated, semi-decorated, the three um, file folders that are in your kit. The next thing I'm going to do in the next video is, let me find these, is decorate the two, three, oh, three, three bags that are in the kit. So that'll be the next one, probably. That'll be fun. And then we can start, then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that cover. And we'll finish that, and then put all the pages together and sew them in and then decorate. So those are the steps we have remaining. Um, this series, I am doing everything in the order of how I would make a junk journal so that you can work along, especially if you're new, but there's some advanced techniques in here too. So um, I hope that you're enjoying the series and it's, it's helping to organize your thoughts a little bit when it comes to trying to make a junk journal. And please, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit like, give me a comment, all of that good stuff. Head over to Paper Craft Fan Club on Facebook if you would like to join um, a very lovely group of people who are interested in paper crafts of all sorts and share your projects. And thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.